Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Asaf Laser. Today we're going to be discussing how to create a lookup with a tree as a control. So if we see here, we have the category and right here we can select a tree and then we can go deep on the tree and select a child. So how do we do that? So this is of course a property editor and we're not going to go over a how to create a complete property editor because that we have done that in the past. Uh, basically, documentation on DevExpress has uh, improved incredible. I actually was going back and reading all the basic and I remember when I started and the, the immense amount of documentation now with great practices, uh, it's amazing. So now, but what this is what I want to mention. So basically this is a normal property editor. We have the adapter here that if you have done a couple property editor, you see that everything starts to repeat itself and we have like the adapter that is hooking up the model with the actual component and then we have right here the model that is just going away because this is a lockup it will have the selected value and we have the the list of all the categories and then the send value from UI we have seen this a couple of times the property editor with the attribute and Right here, the only thing different is like we add the I complex view item. So we have in the setup method access to the object space and the application. And right there with that one, we uh, are able to the in the own control create it, go and get the categories. So basically that's uh, normal so far. So what I like is the blazer part. It's like if we go to our uh, render, you see that we are here in, uh, instantiated a combo box review. That's our own components. Let's go to the combo box review. And if you see here, this is what I like about SAF, that you can go to the Blazor uh, specific, uh, to the Windows specific platform code, to the web form specific platform code. And if you got it working there, you are able to bring it here. So what we did here is we have a combo box with all the list of four categories, but we're not gonna show the drop down so we're gonna hide it and when the uh, drop down visible event change then we're gonna open our own drop down so that's basically here and then in the body template we're going to add our tree view and our tree view will be the one that uh, take care of uh, selection change and so on so we can even see here in our in our code behind that basically we're going this drop down is open that's the one who is handling if this drop down is open and everything here we can actually and this is the the great thing like drop bring it here we can go to the documentation of the drop down we can take the code check the code see hey how it's going on what is it how does it work and let's basically run the demo so we see it and you see that right here show the drop down right beside, show the drop down right beside. So basically we go view the source and they say, okay, this is binding to is open. So we take the, the, the code from the Blazor specific platform and we bring it here. So if you see the bind is open, it's going through this drop down is open that is being set up here as we're seeing here in the, in the code behind. So besides that, the, after we are actually got the control working, we had another issue. And that was the last part. So if we, let's take this for a second and run it again. So when we were opening that uh, lookup, um, let's see if, okay, leave it so you come back. Uh, when we were opening that lookup, it was, of course not taking the size that we wanted and we wanted to make sure that it's resized correctly with the screen so if the screen gets a full size if the screen gets in a mobile device everywhere you need to get the size of the of the dx combo box of the lookup and as you will see here let's go to product again open it as you see here if i go here it gets really small and then it's not taking the whole size of the of the editor and also if you change it. So how do we went about that? So basically we create a small uh, JavaScript that if we go and take a look, it's going to get the element of the drop down width. We're gonna get the, the width and then we're gonna take our uh, 
the extra view or three list and we're gonna pass that with with that one we make sure that it doesn't matter what resolution we are we are uh, taking the size of our parent and if you go with to this get with from parent basically let's you see that we are invoking the yes runtime and calling that JavaScript function. With that in place, let's run it one last time. Mm -hmm. Very good tool. And in the meantime, while this is loading, of course, if you are in the DX3 view and you are changing the selection, you see that we're gonna set the selection from our uh, model and we're gonna close the combo box. And that's pretty much it. We are good to go. We have our lookup with the three list implemented and it's a beauty. Let's give it a second. Here you go. Taking the width if we it's taking the width. So that's all for this video. I always like to show this example just to, to one more time reiterate that everything that you can do in a platform like in Blazor, in Windows, in Web, you should be able to do it in, in SAF. Okay, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.